Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at some of the hand cannons that are available to us right now that are not 150s because as you guys know, 110s are getting a buff and rumor has it 140s are getting a buff as well because if you guys don't know, the Hawkmoon exotic from Destiny 1 is coming back and usually when a weapon comes back, that whole archetype gets a rework. So hopefully... We do see a buff. So this video is going to be kind of short because I'm going to be showing you three hand cannons, two 140s and one 110. And it's a short list because that's all really that we have. I'm only showing you weapons that are not going to be sunset next season. Because if this was like, if you don't care about sunsetting and you just want to use 110s, I can give you a bigger list. But unfortunately, sunsetting is a thing and i'm just going to give you the most optimal ones to use that are not going to be sunset next season as obviously so before we start the, with the video so before we start with the video i just wanted to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics so if you could do me a favor and subscribe hit that bell notification i would very much appreciate it if you like my content if you like just me in general that would really help me out so on with the video all right, now with that out of the way, let's look at some of the hand cannons that you might actually use over your 150 counterparts because I know a lot of people are going to not want to stop using the 150s, but experimentation is a good thing, guys, and you might never know. You might find a 140 or 110 that you really love. I'm also not saying that there's not going to be any 140s or 110s in the new expansion, so just keep this video in mind if you see a 110 or a 140 in the new expansion. So the first weapon we're going to be looking at is the Old Fashioned. The Old Fashioned is one of my favorite hand cannons specifically because it's just a lot of fun to use and a lot of the perks that you get with it is pretty dope as well. So the first row of perks we're going to be looking at is Slide Shot, Demolitionist, Feeding Frenzy, Firmly Planted, Quick Draw, and Pulse Monitor. For the second row it's going to be Kill Clip, Snapshot Sights, Explosive Payload, Surrounded, Moving Target, and hip fire grip so one of the coolest things about this is if you're going for an all-out pvp role you can essentially go with quick draw and kill clip that's probably the role i would go for myself i think i have what is it i actually think i have that that role maybe uh, i'll show the role that i have right now my best role but from the top of my head i'm pretty sure i do have the quick draw and kill clip role if i do then that, that would be wild but I know I have like Demolitionist and Explosive Payload. I have a bunch of, of these weapons. I just love Old Fashioned a lot. So hopefully 140s get a really good buff in the future because if it does, I think this is gonna be probably the most optimal thing to use because of Quick Draw and Kill Clip. You can't get that in uh, Dire Promise if I remember correctly. I don't think Dire Promise has any uh any damage. Oh no, it does, it has a, uh... it does, okay. So that's, those are the perks for Old Fashioned. Again, Old Fashioned is really one of my favorite weapons from forever ago. And I highly recommend it if you like 140s. If you want to give 140s a chance, I would say Old Fashioned is your best choice. This is unfortunately a world drop, so you do have to get lucky. But it's the same thing as Dire Promise at this point. So if you've been farming Dire Promise, you should have a few Old Fashions as well. The next one is a little bit easier to farm. Kind of? Not really? It's Ancient Gospel. So if you guys don't know, Ancient Gospel is from the Garden of Salvation raid. And I say it's easier because you do have a higher chance of getting it, but you can only do it three times a week because of each class or yeah, each uh, Guardian. So that's the only reason why I say it's kind of easier. Like your chances are higher, but at the same time, for some reason, it's not. It's really fucking dumb. Not only that, but you do have a higher chance of getting, like let's say you do get a, a Ancient Gospel. Your chances of getting a good one is pretty high considering most of these are pretty good aside from like three perks. So first row is going to be rapid hit, slide shot, outlaw, and eye of the storm for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be kill clip, swashbuckler, dragonfly, and rangefinder. So for me, PvP would probably be rapid hit with swashbuckler or kill clip. For PvE, it's literally the same role, literally. You could do rapid hit with dragonfly if you want, but I just find more value with swashbuckler for PVE and PVP kill clip, obviously, especially for like trials. That would be a great role to have because 
you don't it's not like rampage where you just get that little boost in damage kill clip after you get that first pick reload and go for the second pick and you get like what is it i don't even know the percentage off the top of my head but i know it's a lot so me personally rapid hit with kill clip or swashbuckler would be the play outlaw would be a great one as well obviously because you still have to get hit your headshots to get that fast reload but you can never go wrong with outlaw and kill clip that's like one of the oldest bread and butter combos that we've had since forever in destiny one so you know honestly this this one would probably be the one you would go for i feel like ancient gospel feels so much better than old-fashioned i don't know what it is it feels like a 150 i thought it was a 150 for a while because of just how good it feels so i would highly suggest you get a a raid team and just go for ancient gospel at this point like i said i have rapid hit with kill clip and swashbuckler and i love both roles my swashbuckler role i have it on my titan and the kill clip i have it on my my hunter and it's just fun i have a lot of fun with it so for the only 110 in the game it's true prophecy if you guys don't know what true prophecy is it is a weapon from the future war cult and the only reason why i'm actually suggesting you get this gun is because of the perks this weapon has i hate 110s i'm not gonna lie about it if it had better anything i would go for it it's just it's too slow sure it hits hard but at that point like the for me it's just not worth it but if they do get some really good changes along the way then i would definitely have some of the like cause i have a bunch of true prophecies that i specifically held just in case they got a buff which thank god they did because i have overflow with rampage i have opening shot with i think what was it timed payload I have so many roles that I'm excited to use. And let's actually talk about the perks before I start gushing. So Overflow, Grave Robber, Range Finder, Opening Shot, and Fuel Prep for the first row. For the second row, it's gonna be Demolitionist, Elemental Capacitor, Rampage, Timed Payload, and Explosive Payload. So PVP, I would tell you Opening Shot or Range Finder with Timed Payload, Explosive Payload, Elemental Capacitor to some extent, uh, and Rampage. If you're going for a grenade build, then obviously Demolitionist. For PvE, obviously Overflow with Rampage would be great. Overflow with Demolitionist if you're going for a grenade build. And if I remember correctly, if you're doing high-end GMs, then you could use like maybe Overflow with Timed Payload or Explosive Payload because I... If I remember correctly, the what is it? The overload shot procs with explosive payload off of one shot, if I remember correctly. So if that happens, it's easy, easy pick. So again, the only reason I'm saying you should get this is because of how nutty some of these rolls you can get, especially for PvP. For PvP, can you imagine like a 110 that hits hard as fuck, but it also does timed payload or explosive payload, rampage. Or like overflow dude i'm telling you guys right now i cannot explain how good the feeling is of just continuously shooting and out shooting someone that has a hand cannon like let's say someone has a dire promise with like 12 shots if you have this you have like the base the base magazine is nine shots but obviously with other perks and stuff and whatnot you could probably pull it up to like maybe 12. so let's say you have overflow and you encounter another person that has a hand cannon and they have 12 shots you have 24 shots so essentially you can just keep shooting at them forever or let's say you're shooting and he stops to reload and you just stop well he's thinking he's reloading and he has a 110 so he's gonna go he has a slow reload when he pops out you still have like 12 to 13 shots that's what i do at least when i have overflow i shoot 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 and when they go to cover i act like i don't have ammo as in like i stop shooting and like basically that and then once they pop out i just continue so again 110s i'm excited for the 110 changes i'm more excited for the 140 changes considering i have a few roles on my old-fashioned and ancient gospel that i'm really excited to use so i wanted to make this video just to give you guys a heads up about the new changes that are coming and to just be mindful about some of the new arch or some of the new weapons that we're getting and the archetypes that they may be so like if we're getting a few new hand cannon the next season or next expansion 
and if they're like 140s or 110s just keep an eye on them just make sure just in case like oh what if they're really good what if they're broken because i don't want i don't want you guys to go into the next expansion destroy something that could have been a god roll and then just suffer because of it so just be mindful uh that's what i usually do i always keep something that looks interesting in my vault just in case i have it i'm like oh shit i have this this is nutty so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you guys excited for the changes that the 110s and the potentially 140s might get let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support and i will see you guys later